Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Braggett's Bottle Snatchers, the Rabble Rouser. Yes, this is one of the other Dawnbringers from the new set of boxes released by Games Workshop that they very kindly sent to me early to build up and paint for all of you. And that is exactly what we are doing. And they're very cool. I like them all so far. So. Let's jump in and start painting this one. It's been primed in grey here. Because he's quite a cold little guy. He's quite an evil little boy. And the colour we're going to be using first is Gut Ripper Flesh. And we're just going to apply this over top of all of the goblin skin. And he hasn't got much. Got quite a bit hiding around underneath his robes, but most of him is robes. So it's really just his hands, his arms, his face, and his feet. So with that gut ripper flesh all applied, we're now going to take some black legion and we're going to apply this over the top of all of his robes. So with all that Black Legion applied, whilst it might seem like a slightly weird time to do this now, because he's a little bit fiddly getting in there, what we're going to do is we're going to shade all of the skin using some Bale Tan Green. Normally we would leave the shading to later, but he is just a little bit fiddly. We're going to do that now. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some skeleton hoard. And we're going to apply this over the top of the bones, but specifically not the teeth, as we want these to be a slightly different colour. And so with that now done, we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the teeth and little ropes and things scattered around him as well as the mushrooms on his back. With all of that Agrax earth shade applied we're then going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the handles of his weapons. So with that now done, we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this to the mushrooms in his little pouch back here.
like that. And we're also going to apply this over the entirety of the little bat squigs. So with that now done, we're going to then take some thin down iron warriors and we're going to apply this to the metal details on his weapons. And with that then done, we're going to take some Balthazar gold and we're going to apply this over the top of the little casing here on this tooth. And there's a little moon icon hanging off his left arm. Just down here. So with that done, we've mostly got all of the base coats on. However, we do have a little bit more to do to take him up to war hips to battle ready. And one of those things is to take some Leviathan purple. And we're going to apply this over the top of the wings of our bat squigs. So we're just going to get in here and apply this all over. And it's going to look very, very dark, but that's intentional. So we're going to apply it over like that, coming up to the middle. Going to apply it over the spine of the wing. Like that. Then we're going to very quickly wash the brush. And just here. We're going to smooth out and remove some of the paint. Just like that. I'm going to do this on the underside as well. So with that done, we're then going to take some Caraburg Crimson and I'm going to apply this over the rest of the squigs. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of the black and the silver. And so with that done, we're going to take Agrax Airshade once more and we're going to apply this over the top of the Balthazar Gold. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to pick out the teeth and the spikes. On our squigs. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flash Kits Yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. So with that done, he is now pretty much at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. But we're not going to leave him there. We're going to take him to the next level. And we're going to do this by adding a couple more little shady bits as well as some highlights. Now, the first one that we're going to add is some Militarum Green. 
and we're going to apply this over his mouth and his lips. And with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, we're going to take a little bit of Briar Queen Chill and these little kind of suckers on the skull, we're going to now pick out. And with that done, we then take some Seraphim Sepia and we apply this over the top of the skull. So with that done, we can now start highlighting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking some thin down Nurgling Green. I'm gonna use this to pick out all of his skin. So with that all done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red, not very much of this at all, and we're going to apply this over the top of his eyes. And with that done, I hope you'll forgive me, but I completely forgot to add some Iron Rack Skin as a little spot highlight to all of the Goblin's flesh. Now mercifully, there aren't many of these bits to do. And so with that done, we're then going to once again take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to apply this over his teeth. So with that done, we can move on to all of the black details. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight these is some thinned down Dawnstone. So with that now done, we can move on. The black details don't need any more than that. So we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh and we're going to use this to highlight all of our Agrax Earthshade bony bits, like the teeth and the mushrooms on his back. And so with that pallid witch flesh all applied, we're then going to once again take Screaming Skull. And we're going to apply this as a highlight to the skull. But it's not really screaming anymore. So with that done, the skull is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Rune Lord Brass. I'm gonna use this to highlight the tooth and the little bad moon icon. On his wrist. So 
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all the silver. And with that done, it's now time to work on those red details, especially those flying squigs. The color we're going to be using is some thinned down Evil Suns Scarlet. And what we're looking to do here, as we've done throughout the miniature, is we're just looking to pick out all the little edges in all the red. So with that applied to all of the red flesh, we're then going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone and we're going to apply this to the sharpest points. In all the red. So with that Cadian Flesh Tone applied, what we're now going to do is going to take a teeny tiny little bit of Black Legion. I'm going to apply a dot of this in the top corners closest to the snout. Of each of the eyes like that. And finally, just to finish him off, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Slanesh Grey. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight coming around the purple areas of the wings. So with that done, our rabble rouser is now finished. He looks great. The only thing left to do is the base, and that's exactly what we're gonna work on. And it might look complicated, but it really isn't going to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by taking some basilicanum gray, and we're gonna apply this over the top of all the stonework. With that Basilicanum Grey applied, we're then going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this to the underside of the Mushroom. And then next up, we're going to take Luxion Purple and Briar Queen Chill. I'm going to apply this over the top of the mushroom or toadstool cap. So we're going to start with the Luxion Purple. I'm going to get this all over. Just like that. Wash the brush. I'm actually a little bit heavy there with my paint, so I'm just going to come in there with a clean, dry brush. Just take some of that off. There we go, perfect. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Briar Queen Chill 
and towards the top of the mushroom. We're just going to apply that like this. Wash the brush. Grab a little bit more Briar Queen Chill right on the tip. We just want to add a little bit more like that. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Astro Granite Debris and we're going to apply this to the negative space around the base. Well, there isn't really very much of that. So with that done, just to finish things off, we're going to take some Administratum Grey. I'm going to use this to dry brush the entirety of the base, excluding the mushroom. The mushroom's fine. We just want to get this over the top of the astro granite, the rocks. All of it. So with this base complete, the Gloom Spike gets finally make an appearance on the War Hipster channel. I know you, a lot of you have been waiting for some Gloom Spike Git stuff, and it took this little guy to happen. There will be more, promise. There's plenty of stuff that can be done, but for now, the Rabble Rouser is the first. And he's pretty cool, I like him. He's very, very characterful. He looks great in the box next to the Gobbapalooza. Maybe I'll do them next. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I think you'd like that. I would. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.